Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, so I let some more people get in here. I don't really know what happened because we upgraded our internet this week and got 15 up where we had five up. We got 15 now and I ordered the stuff to hardwire this stream in. So we're not using Wi-Fi. We're going straight hardwired in. So it should have been a little better, but uh, you can see we crashed. So it happens. We will try to work on this. <laughs> yeah, I hate that that keeps happening because uh, we want to make this as good as possible and the internet's just not cooperating with us. Yeah, it's like, um, it's against us. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> Everything's like against us, us so. Hey, if you, uh, yeah, I mean, we get upset by it, but I mean, there's not a lot we can do about it. I mean, it's frustrating more than anything. And, uh, but. Oh, hope- that was my bike out back. Um, well, last week when it was happening, I think you were pretty upset with it. Yeah, I mean, I, you want yeah. to put. You want to put together and put forth a professional product. And well, and not only that, we don't want you to waste your time. Right. You know, we, I know it seems weird because, you know, we might not know all of you face to face, but we feel like we're all kind of this woodworking family <laughs> together. And so we don't want to let you guys down. And so, yeah, it does get really frustrating. But, you know, things like this happen. Mm-hmm. We live in... South Arkansas. South Arkansas. Uh, you know, things happen like that. My internet at work, you know, our students are doing blended learning this year. And so they're on Chromebooks quite a bit for different classes. And internet does this there. They can be in the middle of a class, <laughs> in the middle of assignment, and it will pop out. And sometimes they'll lose all of their stuff. It's, you know. And we had excellent uh, stream status up until yeah. it crashed. Then it said poor. And I even said hey because she was trying to run facebook too and, and talk to people on facebook and it just went so it happens so back to the show but at least uh at least yeah we appreciate you guys yeah. coming back thank you very much <laughs> uh denny newman was the one singing sweet caroline so uh jason garrett don't see you all just the songs oh you know what it's seven thirty one. Mm-hmm. so we're gonna do something new from now on at seven thirty one. you know what time it is power tip time <laughs> so you give them the power tip this week power tip is if you're saving for that next tool you're saving for that big tool purchase and because i know how it is a lot of us don't mm-hmm. have the money just to go drop 350 on a saw or 600 on a saw and so you're going to wind up if you're saving like me you're going to wind up getting to that point to where you've saved 400 dollars, right and you got that $400 in your pocket and you start seeing these other saws. You're like, oh, I could probably get by with that one. I could probably get by with that one. I could probably do- save your money, mm-hmm. get the one you want. Because you're going to always wish you had just waited uh, a month, two months, whatever it's going to take. It may be harder. It is hard to, to wait. To work. Oh, it's hard to wait. You know, if you've got a tool that's <clears throat> that's making the work harder on you and you're you're going to have to work a little bit harder for a month longer in order to work a lot easier after that, I think it would be worth it in the end. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, yeah, it's that buy nice or buy, buy twice. That's right. You know, that and it's hard say. to wait. It is really, really is. hard to wait. Chris Singleton, do you run 120 volts or 240 on the Delta 36 725? It's a, it's a 120. It plugs it right into a 120. Uh, I, I don't know if it's Ian or Ian, but Ian says it's growing pains and it happens. Yes, it is definitely <laughs> growing pains. Well, I, I feel bad about it. Like, I feel personally bad that the internet, and then right now the stream stats when we started was excellent. Now it's showing yeah. poor again. I don't know about this stuff. I know that we have internet. I upgraded the internet, mm-hmm. paid more money for a faster internet, and it's just not quite. We had them so. come out and install new equipment. We had everything done. Uh, they came out mm-hmm. Saturday, actually, mm-hmm. and... Yeah, you know, we had everything run, had everything checked. So, so we'll just keep. And I've got the bit rate. Yeah, I got the bit rate low on my stream to twenty five hundred, and that's supposed to be good up to five megabytes. I'm showing fifteen megabytes up, so I don't know. Seth Smith says he absolutely loves our channel, loves Thank his you. Delta saws just like you do, and God bless us and our family. Thank you, Seth. God bless you <coughs> and your family. That's awesome. Um, We've got our Jesus shirts on tonight. We tried to coordinate just a little bit. Um, mine says, Jesus is my jam. I know you can't see the whole thing, but it's taking it back old school. Isn't that like one the, of those old beat, the beatbox look thing? What do they call those? Were they the beatboxes? Uh, jam box? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I should remember that. Uh, 
Andrew Woodfield, it's all good. Tech speeds up, speeds us up and slows us down. Absolutely. That's a wonderful way of looking at that. Mr. Wagner wants to know how close we are to going full time. We don't know. It's God's timing. And I mean, we, would, we would love for it to happen today. No, yeah. We would. But I would love for him to be ready. able to do that. I don't think because we're just ready for that. I think there's so much joy in it. You know, he, he does. He finds so much joy in it. And I would love for him to be able to do that. Uh, I don't think I could give up my job to do it full time. I, I, I love my boom students. Boombox. Everybody says boombox. <laughs> boom box. It's a boombox. It's That's a boombox. Boombox. What did I call it? Uh, Did jam I box. Jam box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. The computer may the be box. the issue bottlenecking it, but oh. I mean it's an, it's a two three year old Dell XPS. Uh, I have bought a new MacBook. It's just not here yet, so we'll be switching over to, yes. to a streaming software that's different, and hopefully that'll fix things. But we're three weeks out, so bear with us. Ed J, how can I send some pictures of some projects that he has done? Give them. Seven, info. 731 Woodworks at gmail.com or Instagram and Facebook at 731 Woodworks. If you're not following us on Facebook, we would greatly appreciate if you go like us on Facebook. Just search at 731 Woodworks. You'll find us. Uh, David McLean, is there a way to make some of the plans available for free? I know you sell most of them. Uh, I've got some that are work. I got a guy working on some more plans. Thank you, Woodcraft 716, my man. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some available for free, uh, but then we're going to have some paid. I'll run some sales, different things like that, too. Uh, Julian said to Ed J, you can use Instagram messaging. You can do that also. Uh, you can also go to our Facebook page and mm -hmm. message us there. We would love for all of you guys to go to our Facebook, hit like, share that. Uh, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Craftsman Grizzly. I looked at some Grizzly tools, uh, Mr. Eros Fleming. I looked at some some Grizzlies, a table saws before I got the Delta, and those are really appealing to me. I like the way they look. Um, I don't know how you say that name, but Miss Ms. and Mr. I like they put Ms. first. <laughs> Ms. and Mr. 31, what's your advice on selling your first small home decor projects around your area? Put them on some type of social media in your area. Mm -hmm. Um, to people to share them. Stage them really well. If it's a piece of decor, put something around it that's going to complement it well or on a nice piece of furniture and try to sell it that way. Somebody said uh, they seen my TikTok, but no videos. <laughs> I just don't have time. I, I mean, I got Instagram going. I got Facebook going. I, I just, he also, it's a He time. also doesn't know how to work it. I mean, so. I, I don't know. I see people dancing. Or I'm not, not really a dancer other than this So this are you scared here. of it? Not scared of it. I just, I don't know how to work it really, but. I, I mean, gonna, that's your signature move. I'm sure that, you know. Let's just stick with no time. How's that? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jason, did you answer him? What's the largest hole that he can drill with a quarter horsepower drill press without having issues? I don't know the answer to that. I got I got the wind. Got to go real slow or it'll just bog up, bog up, bog up. You know, there's a delay on my screen versus the live and oh. so i just caught you on my screen doing I do my little jig? Little dance. There, you there you go oh i loved it <laughs> shane warwick how long did it take for y'all to start really selling items or get your name out there it does take a little while it takes some time and um, i remember being frustrated when i was posting things yeah. for sale and it would just sit there for a week and i, and I, I was telling her i was like it ain't, gonna know, sell. it ain't gonna sell she's like just be patient but just I, be you patient. know i remember about that when we first started selling he would post just generic pictures mm -hmm. of it we didn't really start staging it or get or interacting with it. We started. So I used to sit in mm -hmm. the chairs or the benches on the Instagram way back. Yeah, I would be pretending to drink coffee or read, read a, book. a book or. Yep. Um, oh, and those photo shoots. <laughs> <sighs> she was a good sport. What planner do I recommend? What do I think of the win? My dad bought me the the Walt seven thirty five X. So that's that six hundred dollar planner. Had he not bought me that, I was. Just close to buying that win. He bought it for my birthday. Surprised me. It was a giant blessing and a huge surprise. But before he bought that, that win, 13-inch, you can get it on Amazon. It, it's linked in the description below uh, after this video. But that's the one I was going to buy. Pope Custom Signs, thank you for the two-before supporter. Uh, Adonis Cavalera said, I feel horrible you all crashed while talking about my rigid R4514 <laughs> table saw. Is that a sign? If we crash now, let's see. <laughs> oh, I think we're good. It's not your fault, but we appreciate that, Adonis. Uh, Amanda Alton, my grandma's family is from Arkansas. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Let us know what part. I'm actually from Mississippi. 
Um, but I've been here a really long time, so. Um, bike out back. If space was not a concern, would you go with a bench top 8 or 10 inch joiner versus a full platform 6 and an eighth like the rigid JP0610? Do you know that one? Yeah, I think so. Is that the one that's up on the stand? I mean, the, the bench top, you can move it around. I, I actually got it on the cart with the um, planer, and I'm, I want to build a cart that has them both incorporated. I've seen somebody build one before. It's kind of one's lower than the other. I, I like that still. But if space not an issue, I'd get the, and the money's not an issue, I get the biggest and best you can get. Uh, Brennan says, thank you for the video on the wooden mallets. Made a few out of scrap purple heart, maple, and walnut. How do you get the glue off so it doesn't show in the finish? Get it a wet rag or a damp rag, not wet, but a damp rag. And as soon as you mash them things together, start wiping as much as you can off. And then after that, make sure you sand it really well. It should come right off. Diane's birthday is the same as our anniversary, July 31st. Yeah, see, here's the thing, though. On our, we were set up for our first date. His best friend from high school was married to one of my best friends when i used to go to the same school a long complicated <laughs> situation we were supposed to go out on july 30th but you stood me up for that night i didn't stand you up i didn't stand you up i said he had I something wasn't else sure if i was gonna get back from work uh -huh. i was working over he, the road he stood me up on july 30th I didn't stand so I, I, <laughs> stars aligned for july 31st what happened <laughs> so our very first date was july 31st 1999 so if we wanted to get married on the same day as the date of our mm -hmm. first date. So that's, right. that's where that that's where that date came from. Uh, Carrie G, glad you made it back with us. Woodcraft seven sixteen, thank you. Buffalo, New York. I bet it is cold up there, man. Oh man, I can't even imagine. It snowed here yesterday. Um, yep. And our yeah, about three inches too. It was so beautiful. I had to day. open the blinds to or open our blinds around our entire house because I just wanted to look at it. But I didn't step outside in it, not once. I didn't realize that until today. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my students. They were talking about getting in it. And I said, you know, I never stepped outside yesterday. Andrew Woodfield, DeWalt, 13-inch planer. Yes. I got the 735X. It's got the little outfeed tables on it. It's awesome. It's an awesome little thing. Frank Montanero, I was saying earlier that I think as long as you know how to use the tool and maintain the tool the right way, I think you can buy with most tools and they can work for you. Mm -hmm, that's right. Yeah. You can get, a, get away with a lot of it. So my, uh, Mr. Lloyd Wagner said it's hard to wait sometimes. <laughs> it's Absolutely. Hard yeah. Have y'all seen that meme? Is that a meme? I'm showing my age here. Meme. <laughs> I said meme. <laughs> the meme where the lady, she she sets up the lawn oh, chair yeah. by the mailbox. Uh -huh. She sits down. She's waiting for the package to she's come in. Order. That is so mean. When I order something, I cannot hardly wait for stuff. David Witherall wants to know, are we going to see a video on how to stage a product? Miss 731? We are going to see that. We actually started filming it Saturday, but she didn't feel well. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, I, I, just wait. I couldn't get into the zone. He kept recording and I kept saying, no, I'm just not feeling that. I'm just <laughs> not feeling it. I wasn't feeling great Saturday. So, um, for another day. But yes, yeah. we're going to work on it. <laughs> James Lord. Patton says that I say power tip better than you. She does. Power tip time. She does say it much better I, than me. I don't know about that. <laughs> Cody, $5. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, Nailbender, do you mirror your content on alt tech platforms? Uh, no, I mean... I don't post, like I got a Rumble account because somebody said I should get on there and I posted a couple things, but it all's pointing back to the YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube's my, my thing right now and I'm putting a lot of effort and time into it. There's some people disagree with that because of politics. I'm not getting all that. I just, that's where we're at. We've established a community here. We love interacting with you guys. So we're just going to continue to post here. I do post on Instagram and Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. I've got a TikTok account, but like I said, I don't really know how to use it and I don't know if I have enough time to put content on there because any piece of content you create takes time mm -hmm. and interacting that it's not that the, just posting takes time. It's the interacting part where you're answering questions and trying to get to everybody. And I do my best to answer every response on YouTube. And then I try to answer on Instagram. Uh, I got about 18,000, almost 19,000 on Instagram and then 112 on here. So I get a lot of messages every day, like, hundreds and i try to keep up with that as best i can and if and I, I had somebody email me the other day saying or messaged me on instagram saying they emailed me and i i never responded 
And I felt bad, but I just didn't see it. I mean, I just missed it. I mean, sometimes I miss it. And if I do, just send me another message. I apologize. Adana says it's better to wait to buy a tool than that just frustrates you than to use it. That's, That's a good true. way of saying mm-hmm. it. You get yeah. an underpowered tool. Like, I got that win, and it does pretty good. Uh, but I, I, I should have went to the next level and got one just a little more stout because it's just a little underpowered. Hey, Jason from Trinidad. That's cool. SMD uh, Designs. How's that rib, man? Didn't he get that kickback? Uh, Bruce Stanton was given a Dewalt miter saw for free. Best gift ever. Heck yeah. What was it that my mom had given you a gift of? It was, she gave you money mm-hmm. as your toward Christmas the, gift or something to put toward a tool. Table saw. And that's mm-hmm. when you were finally able to go get mm-hmm. it. I was saving for that table saw and she gave me enough to. She just happened to come over. It was funny because he was talking about it, how he was short so much money and my mom happened to come over that day and brought his christmas present and it was enough it was, to go by it was, just it was exactly the mm-hmm. taxes and all uh what is a good router purchase bosh cordless cord it yeah cord, cody wants to know cordless for trim routers uh, if you're going to just do like roundovers stuff like that if you're going to start cutting dados or doing any heavy work man get you a corded router get a good uh, Brother Riv has a Triton router he, he talks highly of. Uh, I think he's in the chat here. Uh, so a Triton or any of the bigger Bosch, DeWalt, you know, the name brand routers, you get a good horsepower router, you should be fine. I'm just now seeing all the boom boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? Is it that far behind? <laughs> yeah, I'm that far behind. I'm trying. Oh, you're scrolling down uh, trying to get you. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, does anyone have an opinion on joiner versus planer? Did you, uh, for shelving and tables? I would go joiner because unless you're unless you're getting rough cut lumber that you're having to dimension down to a certain thickness, then the jointer I think is a better option because you'll be able to get those things uh, nice seams on your tabletop. Stephen sold uh, his eight track to buy a boombox. That's awesome. I'm just man. all into old, the older <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I got to get back on track. <laughs> yeah, Makita's make good uh, um, routers as well. So I want to know what was your first big tool purchase? Like what was the first thing you bought that was like big? Like that miter saw, table saw, jointer, planer? Like what was the first one you dropped big bucks on? Uh, Gregory Smith says that looking at to. the Delta 36714 hybrid. Any opinions on that model? Delta 36 I'm not sure about that model. I don't know which one that is exactly. Give me a uh, price range on Adonis team. said you all should critique our work on a love stream once a month. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. A love stream. Uh, a love stream instead of a live stream. What was it that Mackenzie was telling us? On the edge or? Yeah, she calls it on the edge or something. They're behind the scenes that the yeah, members get ca- to see. Our daughter has the She best does time. all the behind the scenes footage for us. She tries to we catch us at our members worst, only. though. She yeah, tries, she, she tries, tries to, to catch us at the most embarrassing moment. Finger moment. my nose or something. <laughs> you do not. This is terrible. <laughs> not holding your hand. <laughs> Alex says that we're his favorite woodworking channel. Hope you have Thank an you. amazing night. Thank you so much. You too. It's getting better again. Uh, uh, David, woodworking helps him decompress. He's an officer. Says it helps him relax, and he likes putting his focus on something me, right? else. Mm-hmm. Almost it's done with his own coffee bar. Awesome. Based on our design. Awesome. I Send love my of coffee bar. I love that so much. But he keeps spilling coffee on it. The base of it's painted white. <laughs> he drinks coffee, not milk. And he keeps spilling it. Well, not milk. I don't like milk. <laughs> but Lactose milk. intolerant people here. Almond milk? <laughs> <laughs> on the edge behind bar. the live edge. That's what Mackenzie says it's called. On the edge, she's behind named it, the live edge. but I've never put it on there. So, so is she? Where'd she comment that at? Oh, it, you're behind. <laughs> I'm so <You're> behind. <laughs> <laughs> I try so hard to read y'all's questions. Uh, Amanda, I saw one of your vid- videos recently. Now I can't talk, and you were using the Craig Rip Cut, and I told my husband I wanted one, and he had no idea what it was or how it was used. You go, girl. I like that Craig Rip Cut. We've used, I've used it on a bunch of projects. You just got to have a sharp blade. The woman power on that. Woman power. Girl power. Well, you're doing a woman power. Oh, so. sorry. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ryobi, I think Ryobi has a place in the market. I think they make some pretty good stuff. I don't know that I would buy a table saw from them, but their cordless stuff, I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference between Ryobi and Rigid. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're coming out of the same factory. They just got a different color on them. 
Uh, I mean, I may be off wrong about that, but I think they're pretty close to the same tool. And I've had those rigids out there for a long time and they weren't perfectly fine. So if you're going cordless, rigid, Ryobi, any of those DeWalt's, any of those you, you're not going to go wrong with. I Milwaukee, I think, is on a level up from them, but... Eros Fleming, I love that name. Mm. Um, Joe Cruz finally made the modern TV stand, and it came out awesome, all caps. Awesome. It was so awesome that it sold, all caps. <laughs> Thanks for your support and <laughs> constant awesome. being there, and thank you, and God bless you and your family. God bless you and your family. That is really thank great, you. man. That's awesome. We'd I love to hear your success stories Heck when yeah. you've built something. Um, that TV stand, just like the coffee bar, was, I don't know which TV stand. The modern farmhouse? The one, was ours, okay, yeah. ours. Um, I put a lot of thought into those when I try to I try to think of exactly what I'm going to want in that space. But when I give him a design to build, I also am thinking about what I want to put on it, decor wise. Mm. And that's from the start. That's from yeah. the design. I mean, I'm I'm trying to visualize anything I'm wanting to put in it, on it, around it, all of that. Uh, Greg Gardner is just getting started. What is the best stud finder that you recommend? He's purchased a few and they don't really work. Never been able to find a good. Opinion. I've got a little magnetic one. It's like a little tiny thing. Most time I do the knock method. I do the knock. And then when you're sound solid, that's where that's, I. That's I what I do. Up. Sometimes you get a little off on that. Though, but we don't you get right there. At we the don't edge. have a lot. We're not doing in-home construction or anything, so it's not mm -hmm. like if I miss the whole, miss the stud, then we just move over a little bit and then we fill the hole. Brett said his neighbor went to Grizzly and bought some new toys, and now he's envious. I bet. I just was let, make him let you borrow. I was talking to my students today about um, being envious of things that other people have the story where I'm sorry. I'm uh, Brian just bought the Delta 5000 T2. It's a good song. Amanda said, just wanted to say that this channel has truly been a blessing. You're such a motivation, and I pray God continues to use y'all. I got so I, I got thank a little confession. For, thank, thank you, you for that so much, Amanda. So I got a video. She hadn't seen it yet, and I'm a little embarrassed. I hadn't even showed it to her, and I've told her several he times that I'm embarrassed to it. see it. And this is part of it here. Just, I'm a woodworker. And so it's coming out Thursday if I let it come out, but I'm really nervous about putting this thing out. I you had put some weird music some behind it. So that he'll put this out. And I was like, she's like, the music's weird. You got to take that out. So <laughs> I took the music, the music out. out. It's okay. out. I haven't finished editing it. I got like one picture to overlay on in the video, but it's like... <laughs> And, and I'll tell you the title. The title is Deer Beginner Woodworker. And so I thought there's some other big YouTubers like tech YouTuber stuff doing Deer, you know, Apple, Deer, Microsoft, whatever. I thought that's a good idea for a video. And so it's basically a letter. And if you on the community tab, I put a suggestion box up there mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I said, Deer Beginner Woodworker. And you dropped your comments in there to, to tell us what you thought a beginner woodworker should know. And so I took some of those and I took some of my own and made a video. And uh, I'm really kind of concerned about it you know that fear keeps you going okay through, but, but in my defense right when i said something about the music that's oh what, she was totally right that, that, that's what got right. them kind of off you know those commercials where you've got the animals that are really sad and scared and <laughs> abused that pe that you know uh is it aspca they've come in and you know you've got that soft music singing in the background yeah, you've got the weird. little dog shivering and the cat with one eye <laughs> <laughs> it was that kind of music with him starting to say Dear woodworker. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, in my defense, that's all I said. I did not say that you sound it bad. Well, I was already kind of like, eh, I should have probably deleted yeah, that and one. So, but. I completely wrecked his self esteem on it. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I made his confidence level plummet. I did not mean to do that. I support him in absolutely everything he does. She I does. Be a great she video. absolutely does. I think you guys would really enjoy it because it comes from their thoughts, too. Mm hmm. That's right. You know, so I think you need to put that out there. You don't let bullies like me ruin <laughs> things. <laughs> Adirondack chairs. Somebody said they sold 16. I heard someone today, or I saw someone today say they those. had started making some outdoor furniture early mm -hmm. this year, and it's already selling. So mm -hmm. We are going to do a video on outdoor furniture. We are going to do a... Lord willing. Lord willing. We're going to do a deck makeover. Mm -hmm. um, and them. we're going to make a sectional... We're going to try to build an outdoor sectional. Haven't really looked at any designs or anything for that yet, but we're going to completely do a little mini makeover the deck of our deck. Repairs we're going to try to do it a, a, in a budget-friendly way so that we can do that video for you guys. I think it'd be a cool build, too. Uh, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, see, I'm just now getting to that. 
<laughs> Amanda said if it ever warms up again here in Indiana, she's going to try to get her workbench set up because she has plans to make a bunch of new furniture for her house. It's I awesome building your own furniture. It really like, is. Gosh, you get to design it, it mm-hmm. and you get to you got pride in because you made well, it. Uh, for one thing, I've been wanting to get a little bit of new furniture, a living room suit, even though we don't need one. Um, <laughs> They're always out of stock when I find one I like. If you do find one you like, it's completely insane on the price. Mm-hmm. And it's 12 weeks out to even get an estimated yeah, delivery like date. Right so when we bought our bedroom suit, it took us forever to get it in. We we ordered it, and it took us months to get it in. So, And then you have to pick out something that's pre-made and see if that's going to fit in your space. Mm-hmm. If you build it yourself, you can make it according to your needs. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, Andrew said four post lunchbox. What's that? Uh, that's that DeWalt planer, I think. Uh, Nell Bender said, don't wet glue to clean up, squeeze out. Let it dry and cure, then scrape it off with a chisel scraper or block plane, especially on pine and oak. That's what we're Good to know. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you, can, you can mention a charity auction there, Dexter, if you want to. Julian says they've not had snow where they live for two years, North Carolina. It usually doesn't yeah, snow here. It usually just gets straight ice if we yeah. get anything, and then the power's out. But this was out. that really pretty snow. It was, it was good powdery, fluffy snow. Crunch when you walk. It don't happen very often in Arkansas. Yeah. Bike says it's 35 degrees up there. Whew. we got Chuck Hampton and Cal Cox from Arkansas. Ripping. Well, I've seen a lot of people on here from Arkansas. McCroy. McCroy. Mm-hmm. Am I saying that right? Yep. There was somebody from there a while ago. Um, Viviana Azunu wants to know what you do with a router. Uh, you can do tons and tons of stuff with a router. Uh, just probably Steve Ramsey probably, I'm guessing, has a good video on that because he has a lot of good videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, but you can do round over the edges. You can put details on the edges. You can cut slots and grooves into wood. Uh, you can joint with a router. You can trim up edges on a router to make them flush with the other it's just like a router is probably one of the most versatile tools in a wood shop mm-hmm. john gamboa says he's building his first desk as we speak right now your I videos have given him confidence how much overhang would you have on the tabletop over the leg frame it just depends do on you the remember look? what we put on my desk no, i know we on got our, a, we got on a our video tv on the stand the there it's Two or like three two, inches yeah. on the front. It just depends on the look you're going for. Yeah, on my desk uh, that's in my classroom, I think we had a pretty large overhang because I wanted it that way. Mm-hmm. I liked the look of it. Uh, the overhang on the sides and the back is a lot deeper than the one on the front because I have a drawer. Um, but yeah. Uh, H2 Woodshop, are you going to replace the cutting head on the DeWalt planer with the spiral head? Man, I, I, don't, I don't have any plans to that thing's kind of expensive i think the the spiral head but i've seen people do it and it works awesome paula gray says making my first project a hallway table should i practice first before i try it i don't know if i would make a practice run of it i think i would just try it just go for it yeah if you're unsure maybe make it a tiny bit i don't know nah just go for it just hey, go for it worst thing that happened you're gonna burn it <laughs> Well, you might could use it for something else if it doesn't work for your for hallway. Else, yeah, you could use it for a sofa table or you know, entryway table. I mean, there's different things if it doesn't fit the right way. or yeah, I would just try it. Mm-hmm. Send us try a picture it. of it. I'd love to see it. We couldn't fit a hallway table in our hallway. No, our hallway's too narrow. Yeah. It's like it's the standard, but three, I don't even think it's three feet wide. Cody said that he he says that he works in the prison system. <laughs> system in Arizona and relaxes with woodworking. Woodworking is a good stress reliever. It really or a stress is. Ca- stress causer Creator. if you get behind on your orders. Just be careful with that. Uh, Jeff says make a straight line jig and buy a thickness planer. Jig works great as a jointer. Cool. Joiner, not jointer. Uh, thank you to all of you that are giving us the love and support, saying that you love our videos. And we do appreciate it. Sorry Junior says the- he loves us from Australia. That's awesome. I was telling my students today yeah. that we had people on here from Canada and Australia and all of that. Um, they were getting really excited when I told them that. Um, I'd like to visit Australia, but I don't know that I could ever ride on an airplane. We that love long. that show that's uh, recorded in Australia. <laughs> the that? Married at First Sight Australia. <laughs> yeah. 
we love a lot that of drama show. On that show. It's so much better. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, oh, we love those shows. Uh, Denny, what's your thoughts on the Harbor Freight dust collection? I haven't used it, but uh, if it collects the dust, I guess it'll work. I don't know. I don't have dust collection because I've got a shop back and a leaf blower, but I do have plans to get <laughs> dust collection at some point, maybe in the near future. I don't know. See, Amanda appreciated my girl power. She said everything in their house that gets built is built by her. Yeah. Yeah. All right, smaller so power tools. One more. Isaac, trust what smaller power tools do you recommend to buy because I have some extra money? Well, depends on what you got already. I mean, if you if you've already got your smaller i mean i don't know what you have so a good router is always good to have you can pick one of those up for a couple hundred dollars uh from amazon or home depot or anywhere like that uh, if you already have a router get you a good cordless set i mean it just depends really what you got michael uh he <clears throat> says which color do you like better biscuit or alabaster i myself would pick the alabaster and the, the reason i say that if you put an alabaster in a room that you've got off white items decor walls trim whatever it is the alabaster is going to blend in mm -hmm. if you've got white in the room the alabaster is going to blend in but if everything in the room is white and you put biscuit in there biscuit will not blend in it's got I a tried yellow that. Tint to it. the biscuit is a very creamy ivory color so where alabaster has more of the white tones the the biscuit has more of your, your yellow tones mm -hmm. so it just depends on where you're putting it i love the biscuit color on certain things but for our house with the things that we've been doing i prefer the alabaster myself it's a good color paint it, it is. Really is it's a really good color that seems to blend our cabinets are white um and the coffee bars between the kitchen and living room area and painted in the alabaster it matches our cabinets mm -hmm. it also matches the trim that's around our ceiling and our ceiling color itself uh, the blinds which are sort of an off-white i didn't buy true white um, but i think that alabaster would fit in with about any of them maybe mm -hmm. not a bright white the one that's got the blue undertones i don't know if it would fit with that but it might mm -hmm. that'd be it might uh we'll do a couple of more on here woodcraft said to jump in both feet sink or swim that's right it's the only way you're gonna learn <laughs> i mean <laughs> You got to learn by trying, most people. So just get out there and try it. Uh, Nolan Stevenson said, making a radiator cover out of pine, should I paint or stain? It's going in a bathroom with production cabinets and white walls. It if can be a good contrast yeah, if it's stained. I mean... It just depends on the color, I guess. I myself would prefer it in the paint. The same color as the cabinets? Mm-hmm. Kind of like so they would match. Well, it, it's to me, it's a more modern look, um, especially if the cabinets themselves are going to be stained because I don't know if they're going to be stained or not, but it's production cabinets and white walls. Um, I think I would go with the paint and make it match the walls so that it might blend in a mm -hmm. little. Michael Espinoza, Delta Cruiser, is it worth it? Or an accent color. <laughs> a pop of color on that would be super cool. think so. Yeah. Make it stand out. Yes. Try it. Like if, if the towels in there are a certain color, you know, a turquoise or a, some type of slate blue or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like pops of color you every now and then. That's, that's why our kitchen and area and all that's in grays and whites and neutrals, but we have red bar stools. I like a pop of color. It does look good. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take Wait, one I, more I, question. Michael Espinoza, Delta Cruiser, is it worth it? Chuck Hampton, do you remember Jay Bay? Are, are you talking? Yeah. Okay. We well, got quiet. I was thinking. <laughs> oh. it, Delta Cruiser, is it worth it? If you need the space saving, yes, because it doesn't have those arms that stick off the back and cause you a lot of trouble. If you don't need the space saving aspect, which is why you would buy that Delta Cruiser, because that smooth as butter glide on it, get the DeWalt 779. You'll save yourself a couple hundred dollars. And it's a fantastic saw. I've used it for several years. Okay, so Chuck Hampton says, do you remember Jay Bates' dust collector from Harbor Freight that he modified? No. He said that he actually owns it. He went to visit him, and he gave it to him. That is awesome. I think that's really cool. That is awesome. Uh, we'll do one more question. Philip Bryant, what finish do you recommend for outdoor furniture? Spar urethane is meant for outdoor furniture, and so it doesn't matter if you paint. I don't know, paint, but if you stained it or whatever, 
as far as your things, what you're going to want to use. Pops Custom, we are so glad that you're a 2 before member. Thank you, sir. We love that. Um, Mackenzie, yes, uh, you can bring <laughs> that baby boy to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, we've already done a power tip. Yep, so we're done. So we we're thank done. you so much for episode yep. number five. Had another glitch, but we're working through this. Hopefully next week we can have that that fixed. I'll try to do some research. Thank and you figure guys out what's though for it. being so understanding understanding through that because it is <laughs> difficult when you have things like that happen. So you know, there's one of two ways you can react to it. Yep. Thank you guys for your support, <laughs> we appreciate it. for your love, and we'll see you next time. Thank. <laughs>